Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my pregnancy update that I am a little bit late in filming because I did film this about two weeks ago and I wasn't happy with the footage. So I am a little bit behind, but I thought I'd catch us up to where we're at now and then I can go sort of fortnightly or so from here. So first of all, hi, I'm Jess if you're new to my channel. Um, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, but basically I am now 22 weeks pregnant. Um, I am also a mum to a 14 month old, so I will have two under two. They will be pretty much exactly 18 months apart. And his name is Lachlan. So I will leave all my pregnancy videos um, in a playlist in the description box down below if you guys want to check that out. But let's jump into my pregnancy update for the past sort of six-ish weeks, because that's how long it's been since I've updated you. So first we'll chuck on weeks 16 and 17. Um, so week 16 and 17, I had gastro. Really exciting stuff. Um, so I was so incredibly unwell. I was actually in hospital for a day um, because I went about 50 hours without being able to keep any food, drink, water, nothing down. Um, so I sort of just got over the bulk of my morning sickness and then gastro hit. I um, mean, I actually got it from my one year old. He had gastro a couple of days before and we were in hospital with him. And then I sort of got it afterwards. So that was not fun. And then unfortunately, because of that, we were supposed to go on holiday that week and we had to actually cancel our holiday because my little one wasn't better. Um, I was still sick and then my husband also got gastro mixed with a bit of food poisoning the day we were supposed to fly out. So we did have to sort of cancel that. So we did do, sort of do a homecation in those sort of two weeks. Um, and so we did all the, the, you know, we did the Melbourne Zoo, the Werribee Zoo. We had sort of days out um, in the city together. I will leave those videos linked down below because I did vlog some of those. Um, and that was sort of our little home vacation together we have booked another baby moon sort of holiday with you know the cancelled money from our first holiday in june and we will be going to the gold coast so we were supposed to be going to bali but we're going to the gold coast for five days um and so i will bring my camera along and i will vlog that trip instead um but yes so that was my motions at that point but excitingly enough i also had my first movements at 16 weeks which is very early i think most people i think don't get them till 18 to 20 um and with lachlan i think i might have been 18 or 19 weeks i'd have to go back and check but i'm pretty sure i was about 18 weeks um this time it was 100 percent 16 weeks i remember i just had my midwife appointment hey. I just had my midwife appointment and we started feeling movements then. Um, and I also did an early GTT test. Um, I've got a family history of diabetes and had to do it this time. I was supposed to do it with my son, but I was too unwell. Um, and all of those results came back fantastic, like perfect, better than perfect. To be honest, they, I got like athletes results, which was crazy. So that was sort of week 16 and 17. Weeks 18 and 19, we were painting. Um, we have been painting on and off for the past 18 or so months, um, but we started painting again around that time because we were finishing off the bedrooms in our house, the laundry, um, all that sort of stuff. So we sort of started painting and we also um, were starting the nursery, which I'm currently sitting in, um, and we painted this wall blue and my son has a blue wall in his room as well. Um, and so we did that. We did the rest of the house. We laid flooring, exciting stuff. Um, and that was sort of the major thing that happened in those two weeks. Um, we also did a, then we did sort of a family trip to the zoo with my husband's family and um, Lachlan's only sort of cousin on his side. Um, and that was really fun, really exciting. Um, we'd been to the zoo the the week prior so uh, we'd vlogged that trip we did not vlog the family day but it was really really fun and Lachlan really enjoyed walking around the zoo holding our hand and he's walking so much more I'll talk about that in his update but um it's yeah he, we had so much fun that was also the week that I got through to the um 
midwife caseload program so if you guys follow my last pregnancy i was in the caseload at the hospital that i'm giving birth at which is basically i get assigned my own midwife and i see them and follow them throughout my pregnancy and they are the ones who are present at the birth of my child um and so i got into that program again which i'm so incredibly excited about um and actually it was the midwife who delivered lachlan who was able to push me to get in so i spoke to her that week and she's actually paired me up with her partner, who she sort of swaps with, um, because she's actually going to be away for the whole month of August. Hi. We're going to have a visitor. Hi. Would you like to come say hello? Somebody's teething. Say hello, look, Lachlan, look. your train? There's a doggy. Doggy? <coughs> you say hi doggy. Hi doggy. Oh. Hi doggy. Oh. You want to go to dad? Uh. Okay. Uh. You're going to walk to your train? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, so I got into that program. I'm really, really excited. And I actually see my midwife for the first time tomorrow. So I'll give you guys an update on that in my next pregnancy update. Um, and yeah, I also had a midwife appointment that week as well um, with my the hospital midwife I was seeing at the time. What happened? I had an actual midwife appointment with my hospital midwife the, um, the day before that phone call. So that also happened that week and all was fine. Baby's heartbeat was measuring in like in the 140s. Um, and they don't measure your bump until 20 weeks. So I was only about 18 weeks at that point. Um, and so I didn't get measured. So, But she looked, said it looked like it was measuring where it should be. As for weeks 20 to 22, which have been the last two weeks, I'm now 22 and a half weeks pregnant. Uh, my day is a Thursday. That's when I sort of flip over. Um, they, uh, the first thing it was has been really vivid upsetting dreams so they're really vivid i sort of wake up from them and i have multiple in a night um and they're really not pleasant dreams so i'm hoping that goes away i don't remember that being heavy that with lachlan and so i'm not enjoying that whatsoever um obviously my movement is getting stronger and more frequent obviously what was very sporadic little movements here and there is now a daily movements that i feel a lot he is a lot more active than Lachlan ever was. Lachlan was a bit of a lazy baby. Um, not anymore, but he was a bit of a lazy sort of baby in utero and then not in real life. Um, so I'm hoping it goes the opposite way. So I'm hoping this baby is really active inside and then chill outside. Um, I sort of got to the nursery. I'm going to say like... 60% maybe like 80% done um, there's still quite a bit of organizing and stuff that I want to do but I have a cot set up we've got our um, you know bits and pieces set up I've started organizing the wardrobe I've filled in his chest of drawers I've started getting bits and pieces for our hospital bag ready um, because obviously this time I have to pack my hospital bag my husband's bag the baby's bag and Lachlan's bag um, for him to go stay with my mum and dad so it's I want to get ready earlier obviously i'm still very early but i'm just organizing um as i was putting out his clothes that were lachlan's old clothes um putting things aside saying i'll take this to the hospital so i started that um we also definitely decided on a name we have sort of been happy with this name for quite some time but we have decided 100 percent on his name and we have painted the sign and i've got it all ready to go up on that wall up there um for the nursery and name reveal when he is born we will not be revealing the name on my channel before he is born um, and nobody at this stage knows what it is um and we're still i mean i will even tell family what it is we did with lachlan um we're not sure if we will this time around um however we did decide 100 percent on a name we also had my 20 week scan which i'll insert some clips of here of the ultrasound pictures um, baby was measuring a day bigger um, and so they've actually changed my due date because the hospital and my doctor's office had them as separate days 
their systems just did it that way. So they've changed my due date to the 30th of August and he was actually measuring a day bigger than that. So they have stuck with the 30th of August as my due date because that seems to be the closest that he is measuring to, um, which is funny to me because Lachlan always measured really small. Um, he was always two or three days smaller than my due date, um, whereas this baby at this stage was measuring a day bigger. Um, however, I do have to go back at about 26 weeks and get a secondary scan because where Bub had positioned himself made it very difficult for them to get photos of his heart and things. They said everything looked normal. It was just positioning. Um, and because obviously being a second pregnancy and so close together, it does make a big difference in uterus size. And so because he's got a lot more room, he nestled down right in my pelvis and they could not get a good picture on the angle that they wanted. They did get some pictures, you know, they were able to see he had four chambers, they were all beating, all that sort of stuff, but they legally need a certain amount of photos from certain angles and they just could not get those. So I will be doing another ultrasound around the 25, 26 week mark. Um, and I'm going to book that the same day that I have my GTT test so that my husband can come with me um, because I do have to do another GTT test. So. Um, otherwise, the only other thing I sort of have to say about this pregnancy is that it has been a lot more achy and uh, crampy and painful than Lachlan's pregnancy. A lot more back aches, a lot more sort of stomach pain. Um, and I think that is mostly because I am carrying a toddler around now and I am chasing a toddler. With Lachlan, if I felt a bit tired or if I felt like crampy or achy, I could sit down, I could relax, I could even lay in bed some days. Um, I don't have that option now. I have a 14 month old who is on the go all the time and so that just, it doesn't happen. So I think that that's the reason and also because my uterus is probably um, bigger than this time last time and that sort of showed in my ultrasound my uterus had expanded quicker being a second pregnancy and also being so close together um and so i'm probably showing a lot more and i'm feeling it a lot more because of that so as for my pregnancy other than that everything seems to be going along knock on wood quite smoothly um baby boy is very active he moves around a lot um, and we are really, really excited. We actually went to the baby show yesterday and I think I might film a haul of that stuff because I bought quite a bit. Um, and I think that I could probably film a baby and toddler show haul because I did buy quite a lot. So I might do that today as well. I've got a few videos I wanna film today because the weekends are the only times I get to film cohesively and I sort of wanna get quite a few videos filmed so that I can get them up for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my update. I will insert a bit of a bump shot in a second um, so you guys can see where I'm at. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to click the subscribe, check out all the videos in the links down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.